A man in Montana is facing federal gun charges for owning a single shot shotgun and having it on his own property just because he happens to live across the street from a school. And despite no history of violence or previous charges, the judge has ordered him to stay in jail until after his trial, saying that owning the gun alone is proof of violent history. You are going to want to keep watching this one. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is Quite the coincidence, as just a few weeks ago, I put out a video about a couple of kids with a BB gun who got federal charges for having a gun in a school zone just for walking by on a public sidewalk. I had said that by those cops' arguments, I wondered how even just owning a gun near a school would work out. And it seems today we have our answer, at least when it comes to the trigger-happy feds. But before we get into all of that, today's video is brought to you by Blackout Coffee Company. The only thing Blackout does better than supporting your rights is getting rid of a case of the Mondays, even on the days that aren't actually Mondays, but feel like Mondays, like today. They are an essential part of my morning. They've been a big supporter of this channel for a long time and have been supporting the Second Amendment even longer. To support the channel and your favorite gun rights groups while getting a great cup of coffee or tea, head on over to blackoutcoffee.com slash libertydoll. On August 23rd, 49-year-old Gabriel Owen Metcalf was arrested by ATF agents in Billings, Montana on charges of having a gun in a school zone while on his own property. Excuse me, what? According to the criminal complaint, Billings police had received several complaints about Metcalf in the weeks leading up to the arrest. All of the complaints involved him walking in his own front yard and on the sidewalk with a single shot shotgun. Police also spoke to him about it several times, but said they couldn't arrest him as he hadn't committed a crime. They tried to get him to stop walking around his own property with his gun, which he said he was carrying to protect himself and his mother from a previous neighbor who had been threatening and harassing him. A neighbor who, according to the complaint, officers won't even speak to in person for safety reasons. And it turns out that Metcalf already has a restraining order against this neighbor who is allegedly involved in gang activities and has already tried to kill his mother's pet rabbit and set his mom on fire. When Metcalf was out with his gun, it was to occasionally patrol the property. He says he would have carried a handgun instead, but he can't currently afford one. Anyway, after the police showed up multiple times and asked him to put his gun away while at his own home, he called the FBI to complain that the police were harassing him and not properly investigating the complaints he'd made against this former neighbor. Again, the neighbor who local police have a caution order not to engage with when possible. And it all goes downhill from there. The FBI called the ATF, who then called Metcalf's mom, who told them to call Metcalf himself. So they called Metcalf, who explained everything and even recited the laws back to them as he had done his research to make sure he was within his legal rights. Nevertheless, he was arrested for a violation of the Gun Free Zone Act, which prohibits possession of a gun within 1,000 feet of a school because there just so happens to be one across the street from his house. The Gun Free Zone Act has been found unconstitutional in the past and has already been subject to some minor changes, but hasn't been considered by the Supreme Court in a post-Heller world. Under Bruin, it would also be unconstitutional, and even if it wasn't, Montana itself has a law so that people can't be charged under it all willy-nilly. And because he is not a federally prohibited person, he is covered by that law. During the arrest, the ATF also executed a search warrant to seize the gun, his phone, and a whopping six rounds of ammunition. Clearly, this man was sitting on a dangerous arsenal. So dangerous that despite no history of mental health issues, prior arrests, drug use, or violent behavior, the prosecution asked for a pretrial detention order with no bail. Magistrate Judge Timothy Kaven granted it, checking off a box for history of violence or use of weapons. Along with the order, he wrote, 
He has previously been advised that he is prohibited from possessing a firearm within the school zone, but he has stated his belief that the law is unconstitutional and has asserted his right to do so. Given the defendant's belief that he has a right to possess a firearm within a school zone and his belief that possession of a gun is necessary for his protection and safety, the court finds it is unlikely that he would abide by any condition prohibiting him from possessing a firearm while on pretrial release. Therefore, there are no conditions or combinations of conditions which can be imposed to reasonably assure the safety of any other person or the community if released. So let's review. Despite the police finding no reason to arrest him, no one ordering mental health evaluations, no history of mental health issues, no threats, and no assaults, he has been deemed a danger to the community. A danger so great that he needs to be kept in jail indefinitely until his trial is over, which, if there's a constitutional challenge, could take a very, very long time. Yeah, um, sounds about right. Metcalf has been awarded a federal public defender, which does not bode well for him. If convicted, he will face five years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a $100,000 fine. For his sake, I hope that someone gets this guy a GoFundMe. And while I do not wish for this guy to serve a single day in jail, boy, I feel like the Supreme Court would have a field day with this one. That is it for this video, guys. I will keep you updated with any new information that comes out about this case because it is ridiculous and believe me, I'm going to be following it. In the meantime, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Ring the notification bell so you too can follow along with this case. And as always, thanks for tuning in and happy shooting. P.S. Don't forget to check out my new channel linked down in the description, The Liberty Homestead guest starring Liberty Toddler.